is Mike McRooney. I'm here with yinstheworld.com. Okay. And we're, we're here trying to figure out if the Penguins won the Stanley Cup or something. There's a lot of people down here in downtown Pittsburgh. Um, G20. What's the G20? Is that like the 20 Penguins or something? It's a peaceful march. Thomas Merton Center's peaceful march of love. Just like the 60s. Is there a lot of love going on out there in that march? Yeah, with the stickers and things. Yeah, if you have stickers, there are. Uh, what are you here for? Um, the riots and whatever. And so what's the march about, though? A uh, peaceful protest of many, many causes, Tibet. Um, Police brutality for me. Paying more attention to the little people, the nations in need, the people around the world. You mean like midgets? Um, yeah. Originally, we were just hanging out and watching the other protesters. There were some midgets protesting, although that's not correct, because they're little people. Oh, they're called little people. Yeah, there's little people. You guys all here for the Macy's sale. We've got some wonderful scarves to go with that, the black clothing. And can you name the 20 countries in the G20? Uh, are you guys here for the sale at Macy's? <laughs> they have fairly traded makeup. So what are some of the other causes? Um, what are some other causes? Did you get that scarf at Macy's? Yes. Um, no, I didn't. Uh, I got mine at Macy's. I'm not a big Steelers fan, but I support them. Thank you. This is Mike McRooney again, back with yinstheworld.com, and I think we have found where Ben Roethlisberger is speaking. Let's go up and check it out. It looks, is Ben Roethlisberger coming down the street? We're trying no. to figure out why the police are here. This is all the people who have come out of the bars. Are you a Steelers fan? Not at the moment. And we're standing with? Steve. And it appears that Ben Roethlisberger is going to be coming down the street. There are a lot of police officers lining the street. Maybe Roethlisberger's coming with Sidney Crosby carrying the Stanley Cup. Have you ever been a Steelers fan? Not likely. We're standing here with Steve. Steve! Downtown Pittsburgh. It looks like Roethlisberger is coming right here. Are you against global capitalism? Uh, yeah, pretty much. If there wasn't global capitalism, where would you get those sneakers? Uh, what are you doing here today? Is there a Steeler, Steeler rally or something? No! no we're here to make sure the Pittsburgh is safe. We're healing. Is there a Steeler rally today? Yeah, there's a Steeler rally. There's a Steeler rally every day. And we are here with... Uh... Mr. De Silva, are you a Steelers fan? Yes, he is! You guys from Pittsburgh? Yeah, we're from CMU. We're actually the shamans of the Three Rivers. Where is it? Everywhere. We're always in Steeler town. Coach Tomlin's decision to put Jeff Reed in the last seconds to kick that field goal? That's all we have from the president of Brazil, folks. Have the police been harassing the Steeler fans? Nah, they don't harass Steeler fans. They love Steeler fans. What is your name, sir? Rifat. I am from Turkey. From Turkey? Yes. Are you a Steeler fan? Yeah. We have had to use our powers. We exercised some demons from a few, from a few post hunters who got off the path of righteousness. And uh, we're bringing them back to Mother Earth. So what do you think of the Steelers' ground game this year? Well, I, I think uh, um, G20 is not good. You don't, so you're not in favor of the Steelers' ground game with 20 players? Do yeah. you think you can help us find some hot hippie, hippie chicks? Hippie chicks? No, but, no. Yeah. We're not, we're not, uh, we're we're not yeah. It's about 5,000. And have you tried a Permani Brothers sandwich? Yeah. And was it good? Yeah. Have you ever been a Steelers fan? Not likely. Are there any Browns fans down here? Hell no. If there were, would you support their right to protest Steelers? Nah. Put them in the toilet where they belong. How did you get to Pittsburgh? An airplane? Yeah. <laughs> were there any Steelers fans on the plane? Yeah. And we're here to interview a couple of steel workers. So excuse me guys, are you in favor of NAFTA? Did James Harrison fly the plane? What are you protesting? Uh, monocentric law. And what is monocentric law? Monocentric law is the monopolistic provision of legal order. And why are you protesting that? Sounds like a good thing to me. Okay, what are you studying at Penn State? I'm studying film. We're wondering if the lack of fish shows this summer has caused 
a lot of protesters to come out for something to do at the G20. What do you think about the G20? Uh, yes, I'm protesting that because I'm in favor of polycentric legal orders. And can you tell me where a polycentric legal order exists? Um, nowhere. And we found some more people enjoying the G20 thing. And what are your names? I'm Murderface. Mur Murderface and... <laughs> Zach. And Zach. So, uh, Murderface, can you tell me, what are you doing here at the G20? Uh, trying to expose, you know... Yourself? I'd be pretty pissed if I didn't get to get to a fish show. For example, uh, you can't uh, necessarily pick uh, and choose uh, who you uh, uh, get to uh, have uh, relations with. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, I I'm not exactly great with, uh, with interviews, but... Uh, That's okay. I, I don't like that as a working class citizen, pretty much my opinion doesn't matter and that's why I'm out here today. Polycentric law existed at one point in time in ancient Ireland and and Bono is from Ireland. What do you think about Bono-centric law? Would you like to hold my microphone? We'll be back with more. And we will be back with more from the G20. It's burned. <laughs>